Man, what the hell was that finale for Gen V? Because that shit was crazy and it was a little too short for my taste. But that's one crazy cliffhanger. And if you couldn't tell, I just finished watching the Gen V finale. We get to talk about it. Quick warning that I am going to be recapping the entire episode and giving you my honest spoiler filled thoughts of the episode. So if you're not trying to be spoiled, make sure you drop a like, follow, come back after because I need to hear your thoughts. So we pick up right where last week's episode ended. Dean Shetty's dead. Don't want to see a dead body. They're all freaking out, but Kate and Sam are with the shits. And now they're going to go free all the soups who are trapped in the woods. They try to stop them, but they're obviously too powerful at the moment. So they hatch a plan to go to Dean Shetty's office to lock down the school and try to stop them themselves. Meanwhile, back at Vought's out, Andre's still looking after his dad, who apparently is suffering these seizures due to overuse of his powers. Like eventually he's not going to be able to use his powers at all or else he's gonna die which is when we get a really nice warm heart to heart between andre and his dad where he apologizes for everything about the woods he was just trying to look out for his family but he wants andre to be that hero and basically fake it till he make it meanwhile ashley is at the school and they're all discussing who should be the next member of the seven unluckily for them sam and kate are freeing everyone from the woods and poor bob john whatever his name is got punched in the face and i mean punched through the face they hit the escape catch and free all of the locked up soups and this one right here looks like she was a part of a horror movie Ew. and they basically make kate magneto because i was getting massive magneto Magneto vibes from her the entire episode. Soups matter, mutants matter. Sam lingers on in his old holding cell where he's envisioning Golden Boy, who's trying to play Angel's advocate and get him to do the right thing and be a hero. Hey, Sam and the other soups see what the virus has done to them, and now they're more motivated than ever to kill everyone. We get another TikTok within a TikTok, this is TikTokception, of this fucking predator doing the desperado thing when all the other soups start attacking everyone on campus. The three musketeers finds what's left of the woods while the campus is on fire. Kate gets this fucking guy to blow his own head off on live, and of course, Ashley gets the not so good news, freaks out the only way Ashley could, asks for a helicopter evac and Homelander to come fix this shit ASAP. Back at this director's class he almost gets fucking off by sam until emma shows up and luckily he survives so emma and sam have their first fight and bro the things that sam was saying to her basically that she only cares about what everyone else thinks of her when she shouldn't she never really truly cared about him only for her own selfish reasons essentially and emma starts breaking down this shot was cold but it looks like this unlocked her ability to actually use her powers without having to uh. Andre gets a call from Kate and she tells him that basically they're taking over the school and she needs his help. Andre's like, what the fuck? And then Sam gets a moment of the angel on his shoulder and the devil on his shoulder to choose the right thing. But he ultimately ends up siding with Kate and she pushes him to not feel anything at all. But now he's just a killing machine. Marie presses the lockdown button, which actually has like a soup dog whistle that fucking hurts their ears. The director reunites with Ashley. Ashley calls Marie and tells her if she kills Kate, she'll be the first member of the seven and she'll set up a meeting with her little sister. So obviously Marie is at odds. Remember the helicopter they called for? Yeah, that shit almost gets taken down. But luckily Andre saves them and the helicopter is intact. And we get a cool little moment between the Guardians of Godolkin where Marie and Andre say, let's go do this thing. They see Kate. Apparently the medicine she was taking from Dean and Dira was actually making her weaker. That's why she's able to push all these people now. All the Vought people fucking go in the helicopter. Kate and Andre have a stare down where she tries one more time to convince him, but she knows she can read his mind that he's not really feeling her. Which is when Sam and Andre have a fight. They both end up knocking each other out. Marie tries to talk some sense into Kate one last time, but one of the escaped soups goes after everyone in the helicopter. Kate has her hero moment, manifests her power at like an Omega level, stops the dude and saves everyone in the helicopter. And it was just so cool to see her get her hero moment. Kate almost touched touches Jordan Lee and pushes her, which is when uh, Marie accidentally blows Kate's entire hand off. <laughs> And then, da -da -da -da, Homelander shows up. But as Marie, Jordan Lee, and all the good people try to explain everything that's happening, Homelander's like, nah, shut up. And blames it on them. Look at her face. She's like, you trifling bitch. And then we get a light beam shooting. And the next day we see they pinned it on them for. And Homelander's just overlooking them. Sam and Kate are now the new guardians of Godokan. And of course, all Homelander can do is smile. While Marie wakes up in this like confined hospital room with everyone else. And that's it. That's where the fucking episode ends. That's where the season ends. Until we get the post credit scene of everyone's favorite, Billy Butcher. And you know this shit's gonna lead into season four of the boys. And I cannot wait. I talk so long, there's no more light in my room. Let me know thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, like and follow for more.